here today we have the 2015 CRF 250 SFF TAC4. Dealing with this new 15 CRF 250, we're excited about this. Everything that we've seen on the dyno so far looks really positive. It's a fork that looks like it's gonna lend itself to some really good tuning character. So the SFF function, we have one fork doing all of the hydraulic work and the damping. This is where your revalve happens. We're changing shims, we have pistons, damper rods, everything similar to the forks we've been using for years. And then in this fork, we have what would be the spring piece. So all of the spring functions are controlled in this fork, but they're all done with air chambers. So there is a difference between um, the Kawasaki Suzuki version and the Honda version. So the Kawasaki Suzuki version are similar as far as the tack fork is concerned, and the Honda version is a little bit different. With the balance chamber, or the negative chamber, we have air volume being made up inside this portion of the, of the rod. As this all goes inside and this guy's you know threaded on here you're charging this air is coming out of this piece but also filling up the volume inside of here the Kawasaki one's a little bit different where you can see that this whole chamber is not present they've actually stuck that on the outside of the fork leg which I'm going to show you so here you can see the difference between the two forks this one has the negative chamber or the balance chamber on the outside on the lug where the Honda one it's not present because it's internal like we just showed you with the damper rod itself. And then on the Honda fork they do not actually recommend any air in the outer chamber and this is why this has been fitted with a screw instead of a Schrader valve. So one question we've been getting is can you revalve an air fork? And absolutely yes you can revalve an air fork. Of course with our experience and years of working with Hondas and CRF 250s we have our thoughts of which way things should go. We're looking at different valve stacks for the compression assembly, different valve stacks for the mid valve and for the rebound assemblies. We've actually been dynoing the OE setting looking at um, the intended stock setting and we've learned some things that the fork likes and what the fork is quite good at and we've learned a couple of areas when we start to push things a certain direction where you need to compensate somewhere else. So as we continue to work with this setting here this week, by the time this video starts to get released to the public, we're going to be ready for you. So don't hesitate and send in your 15 stuff to Factory Connection.